The Curse of the Pharaoh On the 4th of November back in 1922, expert British archaeologists Howard Carter and famed financier 5th Earl of Carnarvon, George Herbert, unearthed the tomb of the Pharaoh Tutankhamun himself and were filled with ecstasy to find it completely undisturbed and within a relatively pristine condition, uncommon to tombs normally unearthed throughout ancient Egyptian expedition sites during this time. As the archaeologists and their team entered the tomb, however, Howard Carter made note to a strange inscription commonly found on ancient tombs written in hieroglyphics that translated to say, Cursed be those that disturb the rest of Pharaoh. That they shall break the seal of this tomb shall meet death by a disease which no doctor can diagnose. Paying no heed to the warning, the archaeologists cleaned out the tomb and plundered the artifacts that remained. Within five months, the financier George Herbert would pass away from sepsis after a bite from a mosquito would become suddenly infected and cause severe blood poisoning. Five months following the passing of George Herbert, his brother, Aubrey Herbert, would also pass away due to a sudden infection that brought about severe blood poisoning and the development of sepsis. Although the curse would see an end for the Herbert family, the curse would begin to affect the close friend of George Herbert, Sir Bruce Ingham as Bruce Ingham had been gifted a number of Egyptian artefacts before George's passing. One of the artefacts was a paperweight that contained a mummified hand with a bracelet that bore the inscription saying, Cursed be he who moves my body. Shortly after receiving this gift, Bruce Ingham's house would mysteriously burn down. During reconstruction efforts, the house was hit by a flood, preventing further construction from beginning in the area once again. Arizona Desert Purple Spheres Back on the 27th of January in 2013, there were a number of strange reports made to an ABC affiliate news station known as KGUN9 that described thousands of small purple spheres out in the middle of the Vale Desert in the middle of the state of Arizona, southeast of Tucson. These purple spheres were described by a reporter as being similar to that of gooey marbles that would ooze out liquid substance when squeezed. Shortly after the news station described the strange purple spheres and sent pictures out to the public, they soon thereafter received thousands of phone calls from fans of the news station with the general consensus being that these purple spheres are, in fact, water-absorbing orbs that are used as children's toys that balloon up when water strikes them. They are described as being polymer pearls that are created out of super-absorbent polymers that can only be used to hydrate plants or prevent leaks of any kind. Interestingly enough, it appears that whoever had placed these absorbent polymers had placed several thousand bags worth of the spheres all throughout different patches of the desert, of which was an incredibly peculiar discovery given the fact that whoever placed the spheres had to have done it at least weeks prior to when they were discovered. Though some might argue that it could have been a prank from a social media personality, researchers found that the purple spheres were not discovered until the 27th of January the following morning after a large rain for the region. This would mean that whoever placed the absorbent spheres merely left them dehydrated until the next rain would take place. This has left many to assume that it is more than possible that the spheres are being used to store water for the native flora in the region and that whoever had placed the purple spheres could have done so in an attempt to sustain any native plant life in the region that otherwise would not survive during the dry desert seasons. The identity of the individual responsible is still unknown and their motives can only be suspected to this day. The Silfra Crack Often referred to by the government of Iceland's tourist marketing as a diver's paradise, the Silfra Fisher has become one of the most incredible discoveries in the world of diving since it was first measured. The fissure opened up as the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates began moving away from each other at a tremendous speed of roughly 2 cm per year. It is not this incredible tectonic movement that makes the Silfra fissure an incredible discovery, however, but more about the perfect conditions of the fissure that allow the spot to be ideal for diving practices and accurate measurements of tectonic movement. The waters of the Silfra fissure are regarded as the clearest waters in all the world, as the fissure is filled with a freshwater source from nearby melting glaciers 
that is filtered through roughly 50 kilometers of volcanic underground lava rock for more than 50 years and maintains optimal temperatures of roughly 2 to 4 degrees Celsius that keeps out native fish species that would normally pollute the water from ever entering into the region, of which helps to keep the waters completely unpolluted. This allows divers and researchers to see directly down into the 42 meter deep fissure from the top of the water with an expected visibility of more than 100 meters. Given the fact that the fissure itself is accessible from land, it's the perfect spot for inexperienced divers to first attempt, which is perfect for geological researchers of whom are interested in getting into the world of diving for future underwater geological studies but have yet to get any experience. As the decades continue and the fissure deepens and widens further, the Silphra crack will prove to be a perfect example of nature wanting all of its secrets to be discovered in the most ideal conditions that could ever arise naturally. Namib Desert Fairy Circles Located in the Namib Desert, down near the northwestern Cape province of South Africa, there appears to be a countless number of peculiar formations in the sand that have left researchers scrambling to try to find a reasonable explanation as to the course of the strange phenomena that appears almost artificial in nature. First recorded back in the 1920s, researchers began to notice that all throughout the Namib Desert were arid grass formation circles that were evenly scattered across the entire land. These arid grass formations would shortly thereafter be referred to as fairy circles due to the oral myths of the Himba people indigenous to the region that believed the strange spots of land where grass refused to grow was caused by their gods of whom stepped foot on the land and the circles are evidence of their footprints. The true cause for the formation of the circles has been at the centre of debates and controversy for roughly over a century with researchers from all different backgrounds positing their own theories as to the formation of the fairy circles while also working to discredit the work of others given the strange nature of the circles. The first widely discussed theory surrounded the native species of termites after a researcher concluded that the circles were caused by termite nests inside the region digging small caverns to serve as miniature aquifers that would kill any grass above them. This theory was then disproven after the measuring of the circles showed that their formation was equidistant of each other, a behaviour that the termites and newly formed termite nests would not have displayed over such vast distances. The second widely supported theory came as recent as 2013, when researchers found evidence that the fairy circles could be caused by a natural plant competition as they found correlating evidence that fairy circles were centred at areas with poor soil nutrition and less precipitation. However, this find would not explain the perfect circle designs that came about from these competitive natures. Although some have argued an explanation that fits both answers, others have noticed other strange causes of the arid formations and led to theories widely debated and deemed too controversial to support. Some researchers claim that the fairy circles have been measured to have heightened traces of radioactivity, but that their artificial formation might be evidence of deliberate radiation of some kind. Others have claimed that the fairy circles are evidence of far more supernatural origins and give credence to the native bushmen in the region as to their rightful ownership of the land. To this day, no definitive answer has been accepted and no correlating evidence has been proven to be the causation of the fairy circles whatsoever. Loki's Castle Discovery Referred to by researchers as Loki's Castle, a strange discovery was made back in the middle of July of 2008 of a field of highly active hydrothermal vents located between Greenland and Norway in a relatively stable region of the Earth's crust that normally shouldn't have such highly active hydrothermal fields. The site was located by a team of 25 research scientists who claim that the field sits on a mound of sulphide materials more than 825 feet in diameter, making it the largest sulphide material deposit ever discovered. The field itself is made of five large black chimneys of vents that are covered in an exotic form of microorganism white in colour and was named Loki's Castle for its strange similarities to that of the design of fantasy castles often depicted for Scandinavian mythology. The discovery of a number of unique vent species previously undiscovered had been made in the region that researchers believe only exist in this field alone 
and nowhere else, given their oddly specific adaptations to the surrounding environment. Unfortunately, given its relatively recent discovery and its difficult location for future expeditions and ease of study, not much else is known about this strange underwater discovery.